His wife knew of the personal photos he had buried in the backyard, and now she's ready to show and tell. It was buried deep beneath this abandoned house in the Hollywood Hills, a beautiful secret. It was a pact that uh, they both had made uh, one day on, on the beach, and I don't really know why. A secret that lasted 50 years and was carried to the grave and beyond. She kept her secret, and she kept the relationship with him secret. And now for the first time, this last secret of Marilyn Monroe has been unearthed and is revealed to be as fresh and stunning as the legendary woman. They are photos, never seen before, buried in a plastic tomb, all that remains of a 16-year love affair with a man and his camera. It was secret to her and it was secret to him. They kept in touch with each other off and on each year. Uh, she could do it in the middle of the night. She'd call him up and say, Andre, uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, let's go take some pictures. The year was 1945. Andre De Dionais was a 30-year-old photographer from Romania, a recluse who came out only to take nude photos of young models. Then one day, he met a model who would change his life forever. He was a professional photographer, and he called the Blue Book Modeling Agency at the time and requested a model. And uh, it was Norma Jean who came to him. He actually wanted to take pictures of her uh, nude because he was basically a form photographer. But when he met her, he did not. He instead fell in love with her. He and Norma Jean shared a love of nature, of the ocean in particular, and together went searching for the perfect spot for taking pictures. Andre and Marilyn kept up their relationship for years. He kept taking photos of Marilyn until months before her death. It was then this strange man took the photos, wrapped them up, and buried them in the backyard. He waited 20 years and then he went back for them. He decided to dig his negatives up and start to work on them. In the process, some, some of them were destroyed, uh, but he salvaged what he could. This long forgotten cellar with the image of Marilyn fixed forever to the counter is where Andre began to experiment, rearranging image after image, mixing and superimposing the movie goddess with the places she loved. It could be in the alley of Beverly Hills, but she felt quite comfortable with him, and she had a unique relationship with him. Andre de Dionais was on his way to creating the ultimate exhibit when he met his wife, Shirley. But two months later, he died of cancer. For a decade, the photos were lost again, until six weeks ago, Andre's widow, Shirley, found them buried in the garage. They were just absolutely magnificent. I couldn't believe that these photographs existed. Ed Litwack is handling Andre's treasure now. The licensing expert is producing the exhibit the recluse always dreamed of. Our first exhibit will be in Japan, which should be sometime in June, because Marilyn is probably the hottest property in Japan, other than the Smurfs. <laughs> there is an ironic twist to Andre de Dionese's obsession, for in burying his Marilyn Monroe treasure, hundreds of those one-of-a-kind mementos were lost forever as the negatives disintegrated in the earth. He would have never trusted a vault. He didn't even trust banks. But more than 4,000 photos remain, and they make up what will certainly be the most extensive and wonderful Marilyn Monroe exhibit since the real thing walked the earth.